So for this lesson, we are exploring Earth natural disaster. We are looking at different types of natural disaster and some of the issues that we encounter with this natural disaster. So when we talk about natural disaster, what is natural disasters? They are extreme events. They can cause damages, destruction, and loss of life. Cause a lot of a negative impact to the environment, humans, infrastructure, and the wider communities. So one of the example of natural disaster is hurricane. Um, it says it's a tropical cyclone, so it happens in tropical countries. In different places, they have different names. In Western Pacific, it's known as typhoons. In Indian Ocean, um, especially in Asia, it's known as cyclones. But the general idea by hurricanes is that they're very powerful. Uh, everything gets sucked into it. It's very, very difficult for you to really escape it. It causes a lot of damages to houses, vehicles, even the, the general environment as well. Second natural disaster we're looking at is flooding. So flooding is a is a huge issue in especially in developing countries, even in Austria, the low lying places are more susceptible. It's easier for them to get floods. You're talking about even in Melbourne there was flooding when uh a few years ago, uh, the Maribyrnong River, the Barabri River, they get overfilled. So this is a problem that we need to really address. The third and natural disaster that we have is volcanic eruption. So volcanic eruption is a very natural thing. Uh, some volcanoes that haven't been erupted for a long period of times actually uh, erupts. Um, they do erupt over a period of time. The reason for that is because of the magma coming out from the beneath the ground. It come out as lava, that's something that we cannot control as humans. Uh, we have earthquake. So earthquake is actually a moment. There's sometimes there's a link between earthquake and volcano. Sometimes there's a huge correlation of let's say places that have volcano, they also have earthquake. So there's movement. Uh, some interesting fact, I think there was a believe there was an earthquake yesterday in Melbourne. Even though Australia is not located in the ring of fire, it's not located in the um, the boundary between two plates. But we can still get earthquake when there's movement from the ground and then it comes off the ground, it causes a bit of shakiness on the surface of the crust of the earth. So, uh, in this case, we have tsunami. You probably have the tsunami in Japan, uh, in Fukushima. Unfortunately, it causes destruction towards the nuclear reactor. There was a nuclear reactor plant. There was a tsunami when it actually caused a lot of destruction. They had to shut down the whole nuclear power plant. So, the whole point about tsunami is that there's more of ocean wave. And it usually it's very high depth. And when it comes to us, the, uh, the beach or the coastal area, it basically pulls everything, drives everything back into the ocean. So it's a very huge problem that we encounter with tsunami. You can't really see it from afar. And then when that happens, that can actually cause a lot of destruction, damages to the environment.